kind of scared of the sharks. morning we are up early this morning before most of the family is awake and so I'm taking some time to do some yoga and just enjoy the quietness of being here maybe this can be our clock Laura no it can be our fan well my kids are still here so there's still plenty of noise but Jeremy's watching them for a minute so I can have some quiet alone time She sleep. Good, I slept till seven. What do you think of this place? It's great. Waffles. <laughs> you want to go out by the lake? Yeah. We're going to play some games first and then go to the lake. Oh. Do you want to go watch Uncle Travis play the piano? We decided to all sit on the stairs. So Jeremy has a new toy he's playing with this morning. It's a stabilizer. It's a pretty cheap one. I don't know how to use it, but I'm trying. I basically have the moves down. Show us your moves. There we go. And there's everybody. We just sit on the <laughs> stairs. That's always how we start our spiritual thoughts. So the story I want to share with you guys is from the Bible, and I think it's one you guys know pretty well. It's the story of Joseph from Egypt. Mourning those who mourn, and then helping those, helping them to feel better. Well, Travis's devotional to the family was really touching. Elizabeth, their daughter, has been having a lot of health problems. She's on a feeding tube. There's been food or liquid going into her lungs, and they're trying to figure it out so she can grow and develop. And he was asking for us as a family to join together with our faith, to pray for miracles, for her to be able to be healed, for her treatment to be successful. And I just feel grateful that that's what family's all about, is us coming together to mourn together about the suffering of each other and to pray for faith to, together to, to see miracles happen. And I'm grateful to be a part of that in my family. And I was just really touched by it. And, um, and we invite you to join with us to pray for baby Elizabeth so that she can recover from what she's going through. This game is hilarious. <laughs> We aren't a competitive family. We just have fun. Look at back! You dancing for us, Laura? You found a flower? It's beautiful. So this is my favorite game of tag. It's called partner tag. Everybody gets a partner and then you run around like crazy. People. It's awesome. Oh, Caleb and Uncle Jack. Partners. No, no. Amber! She got you. She got you. the best because everybody can get involved in play. The grandparents get the babies. <laughs> Laura, where are we headed? To the lake! Laura, are you excited to swim in the lake? Yeah, but I'm kind of scared of the sharks. You're scared of the sharks? Yeah. Laura, did you know that there's not any sharks in the lake? There's only fish. Yeah, just fish, no sharks. 
Does fish, does fish have teeth? They do have teeth. Can fishy worms catch you? No, fish won't get you. They just tickle you. Yeah, they probably just tickle you. And they don't want to be by you. They want to run away and hide. So the truth is that I'm absolutely terrified of swimming with fish. Like so much so that I'm not even wearing a swimsuit right now. I'm not planning on getting in the water because I'm so scared of fish. I like to canoe and kayak but I don't like to be in the water. And so little Laura was all nervous. And I'm like, oh, don't worry about the fish. And inside I'm like, ah! We all have irrational fears. Let us know in the comments and fear you have that's kind of funny. Mine's fish. His is lightning. Lightning is really scary though. Fish aren't. <laughs> fish are scary? It doesn't kill people. <laughs> have you ever heard of piranhas? They're not in there. Yeah, the shark in the lake. <laughs> Do you want to get in the lake? Uh, a shark in no sharks in the lake. Only fish? Yep, just nice fish. I wanna, I wanna sail, I wanna sail across the sea. You wanna sail across the sea? Yeah. Are you a sailor? Say ahoy! You got me! Thank you, Emily. So one of Kendra's all-time favorite things is kayaking. Did you hear that? There are snakes in the lake. You doing it, Laura? You mean you swimming? Yeah! <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay, this looks like much fun. I don't care if I'm scared of fishes. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna swim in the lake, people. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm getting in. She's gonna do it. Despite the fish. I figure they've already scared away all the fish. I think so. It's rocky down here. Yeah. And murky. Yeah. But it feels nice. It's warm. Here goes Poppy Rod. Oh, so close! The funniest part is that my dad has a toothpick in his mouth while doing. That's like classic my dad. Kendra has a theory that if she it's keeps so kicking, you like the fish will be scared and swim away. Hey, hey Joy. We're swimming all the way across the lake. Whoa! So Kendra just came up to some weeds in the water and she freaked out. Land went a little <laughs> further out than we expected. <laughs> so it we touched wrapped the around my leg and I screamed, but I got away. Well, besides being attacked by a few underwater weeds, I survived. It was actually really, really fun. We swam all the way from one side of the lake to the other, and anyway, I really enjoy water and I love kayaking. I just have to overcome my fear of the fish and the snakes. And just the dark water, like you can't see what's down there. Caleb, are you gonna help canoe? Lunch time. I stepped on a thorn. Where is it? You got a thorn in your foot. Ouch. Do you want me to take it out? Can I play Clash Royale so I'm distracted? You are so sneaky. Sure. Watch this, Dad. Bomber. Got him. All right, well, we got the thorn out. 
Yeah, How does it feel now, Caleb? Better. Well, we are packing up to move to the bunkhouse. It's funny because we weren't supposed to be in this lodge, and honestly, it was way nicer than I had expected, big time. And so it was, it felt kind of luxurious to be in here. But we'll go back to the place we were supposed to be in now. And I just found my earrings on the floor, and I didn't want to forget them, so I just put them on. So now I look all fancy in my workout clothes. Our new cabin was Yep, our new cabin. Do you want to come see our new house? Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. The bunkhouse. This is nice. So we just came to the bunkhouse and I'm loving it. It's less luxury, but much more practical for our family. Where's the light? Light. And here's the kids' room. Elizabeth and Janae are bonding. <laughs> oh. You're learning how to play Nerds? I love that game. Oh, I know. This is awesome. Apparently our kids didn't get enough swimming today. So they're here in the indoor pool swimming. <laughs> Uncle Hunter is always such a good teacher for our kids with swimming. It's our family's oldest cousin with the youngest cousin. I just can't get enough. Hey. There it is. <laughs> So right after dinner, we're supposed to be doing family pictures. Do you see those clouds back there? Yeah, that's a storm rolling in. We can hear the thunder. We just checked the radar. And so we are going to be flexible and we're going to quickly take pictures before we eat dinner. A few years ago, we took our family pictures during a snowstorm. We literally had like five minutes. Like we ran in, we sat down on these steps, we took two pictures and we got done. And they turned out great. So hopefully this will just be like a quick five minute picture experience and done. The grandkid picture. Isaac, do your grumpy, grumpy face. face. Grumpy face. Now it's silly face. So Julie and Jeremy are in the middle. Like a normal picture, like this. Oh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> I think that works. Well, we successfully survived the pictures and we beat the storm. I think that was maybe a world record for family pictures with 35 people. Like that only took like maybe 15 minutes, so we'll see how they turn out. You ready for the lip sync battle? So there's this gorgeous amphitheater right on the lake, and we're gonna do our lip sync battles here tonight. All right, up first in the lip sync battle is Travis and Ashley and their children. Can I just say something crazy? I love crazy. All my life has been a series of doors in my face. And then suddenly I bump into you. There it is. There it is. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> This is the Janene song.
I can hear you, Troy. <laughs> I have two kids. <laughs> oh. Yes, you can. It's the best. Hey Laura, where are we going? We're going to the family room.